This video is a, a, a little fast. Exoprimal is an infinite war crime generator using dinosaurs. In this PvPvGG, my team is goddamn trolling. Humanity has decided fossil fuels took too long to create, so they literally brought dinos hey, to them. Place. The story follows Ace Primal, who is a mute and can only communicate in really awkward face and hand gestures. Basically, this game is wild, and I'm not going to tell a story accurately. If you're ready for your eyes to bleed, you may proceed further. Well, welcome back to Big Toe Island. Without being locatious, basically we're here because dinosaurs are back. And the big VTuber in the sky told us to kill them to gain sit points. So we must strive to become the top donator and not falter to a robot's tantalizing hips. In order to do so, we need to pick the correct exosuit. And since I'm a great content creator, I regrettably played every single one. Krieger is a 10 foot tall brainless <laughs> unit that is great for those who just want to take down Mouse 1 and literally do anything else. Roadblock is a literal brick shithouse that is somehow more fluid at that size than my geriatric flashback could ever be. Murasame, or as I like to call him, Muramami, is if you took Genji from Overwatch and turned him into a tank. However, unlike Genji, his ultimate is actually useful. Skywave is a support that can fly in the air for a literal eternity. Basically, Skywave is what happens when you give a seagull amphetamine. Witch Doctor is OP. Why... Why the fuck does this guy get so much score? Nimbus is that character in the video game who people will swear by, but brings as much value as the kid who sandbagged in the group assignment. Zephyr is another melee character, but instead of having 10,000 health like Murasame, he's about as squishy as a stress ball. Vigilant is the hot garbage character, and finally Barrage is the true correct DPS choice, but everyone knows he's more boring than a 10 hour long iceberg video. So that's why, if you're a true gamer, a real Giga Chad, and have main character syndrome, you play Deadeye. God, I fucking love Call of Duty. Oh, our first story mission. God, I love a good story mission. However, this one is brought to you by an Australian super soldier, and he wants to know where you live. All right, so this mission to collect Magnum's data requires us to act quickly or we will fail. Easy peasy. Oh, Jesus, man, hurry up. While I'm gathering data, I'm a chalky picky, and those dinos are a chubby toddler. Guys, I, I think he's Australian. No wonder he's not fighting, because if he did, we'd probably lose like he did versus the fucking emus. So far, this mission does not seem out of the ordinary. There's just a few raptors, a COVID-19 variant, and another Karna, Karna Longa, Karna Longa Ding Dong. Oh yeah, also these things. Which, because I'm playing as the American Exosuit, I simply do less damage to them. But that's fine, because at the end of the day, there's not an infinite supply of them. My biggest weakness as this Exosuit is, ironically, a large quantity of existence. If Capcom somehow spawned like a thousand raptors, I'm not sure how I would react. Oh, fuck you, Capcom. Guys, I'm starting to think Leviathan is out of ideas. Bro is spamming more raptors than Sims 4 DLC. The funny thing is, the raptors are just the sideshow. Here, we have the RGB hammer, which I can turn bisexual. Sadly, it has a shorter battery life than my iPhone 7. And the only way to charge it is with the blood of my enemy. Sorry, Dino, I need to turn you into fossil fuel. Honestly, this section is really cool. Not only do we get to commit dino genocide, but we also get to commit regular genocide. And just look at this PvP. By God, Capcom did it. They killed Overwatch 2. Fucking, uh, fucking cannonball. Why? They just never look up. What the fuck? O okay, I guess we just win. Open in your... Bro. What's up, you bloody twants? You still enjoying Roblox? No, shit sucks. Good, I'm sending over the new Warzone update. It should only be about 600 gigs. What the fuck? Look, hurry up and get on. I need to... Sandy, f fucking do something. Understood. Oh, I didn't know I'd have an audience today. Usually, I'd drop my drawers and pull a Louis CK, but how's a bit of a light show instead?
Welcome to the totally normal mission in which we need to kill a steakhouse arrest and then get fucking cucked by Leviathan. Welcome back to the incognito tab. Do, do not open that file. The name's D's. Can you fit these nuts? Oh great, more raptors. Except this time, it's literally double. Luckily, we have 10 flashbags instead of 5. Oh fuck, why is Windows Defender here? Uh, oh, that's why. Welcome to the actually fun part of the game. It's literally a Final Fantasy XIV boss. Except fighting this boss doesn't put me on a list. Not only is he good at lighting the bee, but he also vomits lean. And if you don't die from that, he also explodes like a brand new Tesla. Also, be careful not to get sucked. He'll reel you in like a Dyson vacuum. And once you're inside, there is no escape. Be careful, because those teeth are not just for show. What the fuck, Alders? Bloods of Brips match, wrong answers only. I'm going back to bed. Welcome back to the PvP. Today, I decided my gender is Barney and my sexuality is kill all humans. My favorite part of the Jurassic era was when Randy Orton RKO'd the T-Rex. Guys, I'm Genji. I, uh... I need healing. Oh boy, can't wait to push the payload. This really reminds me of 2016 all over again. Capcom, how do I how do I fucking hit this guy? Oh, thank God. She's walking in a straight line. This should be Oh! Alright, I'm done with the PvP. Is it time for a cutscene? Oh, hello. Holy shit, he's hot. Look, guys, I'm gonna need you to go. F fucking why? Because I'm about to have hot E sex with my VTuber girlfriend. This boss is a little mobile, a bit suicidal, and unlike Obama, he won't be winning a Nobel Peace Prize with his drone strikes. Basically, this boss is really cool. My favorite part about this boss was when he burned my corneas. Luckily for us, this boss has Beat Saber on colorblind mode. It really brings back core memories of the Sans Undertale boss fight. If you were looking for a reason to buy this game, I would show you this. Just uh, ignore the raptors. In conclusion, Durbin's boss fight requires skill, teamwork, and the ability to press spacebar. Just, uh, make sure to avoid the missiles. What the fuck, Leviathan? This was not part of the deal. This test provided me with excellent combat data. Prepare for dimensional transfer. Well then, guess I'll see you fuckers in space. Welcome to the Space Gas Station boss. All right, first we gotta pump the gas. Then we gotta do a task. Oh, this guy wants directions around the asteroid, though. Oh, fuck. We shit on the walls. Your attention span is worse than a TikToker, Ace. L right, there's multiple phases of Behemoth, and none of them include your DPS carrying the Vortex. In this space clusterfuck, you must defend the ship from hordes of ranged enemies, flying enemies, and... Holy fuck, not again. Overall, the first phase is pretty simple. We just need to fill up the Honda Civic with unleaded. Leviathan... Behemoth is the perfect suit. It requires the perfect pilot. Farewell, Oh, damn. Blood had his blood turned into Play-Doh. Uh, turns out shooting a giant mech doesn't do damage. Oh, oh wow, that's a big beam. Oh, coldest day in Arizona. Guys, I, I have the objective. Please cover me. Uh, wait, maybe I could deflect it. I see. Just gonna, yeah. 